Hello guys, welcome to our channel, The Collector's Hub. This video going show you the full story of the apothecary Casti Florens. Hope you all enjoy. If you like this series, and would like us to continue more on the story, do give this video a like and let us know down under the comment. Thank you for supporting our channel by subscribing to us. Nutrient deficiency. Too long on the open seas, I take it. I also see symptoms of severe dehydration. Apothecary. <laughs> Everything's going dim. Please, heal me. Easy now, it'll be alright. Healthy, nutrient-rich food is what he needs most right now. If only I had some fruit. Ah, grapes! Thank you. This is just what I was looking for. Here, eat this. Thanks. Uh, I feel much better now. Remember to maintain a balanced diet. That'll help keep you healthy. Take care. I appreciate the help. My name is Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. Are you a traveler as well? I have lost my memories, and I'm searching for clues to who I once was. If you wouldn't mind sharing the road with me, may I join you on your travels? Thank you. Any ache, pain, or ill, I'll patch you right up. I'm sure you won't regret having me around. You choose the road for now, and I'll follow. You have the power to save lives, more than any other. That's why you have to live. If anyone can create a cure, it's you. It's up to you now. Look! Over there! There's someone on that skiff! I hear waves. Where am I? Am I... on a ship? Finally come to, have you? Feeling better yet? You've got the luck of the tides, you know. <sighs> Why... can't I stand? My throat... <laughs> Too dry. Y 
Easy now, lass. You've had a rough time of it. Drink up. Thank you for saving me. Couldn't well leave you to the fishes. How'd you end up on that little skiff, anyhow? Skiff? I don't know. I can't remember. Come on. This isn't the time for jokes. I'm sorry, but I really can't remember anything. Who I am, where I came from, it's all a blink. Hmm. I know one thing about you, lass. Your name, it's Casti. Casti. How... How did you know that? It's stitched onto your outfit. What's that uniform of yours anyway? Ah, right. Amnesia. Strange to think a person could forget their own name. I have to remember. First things first, I need information. Somewhere to start. It will be difficult to learn who I am. Nevertheless, the crew of the ship should know more about the circumstances of my rescue. I should inquire about that, and the ship while I'm at it. I think that's about all I need for now. Based on the predominant currents in this region of the ocean, it's likely my skiff set sail from somewhere on the continent to the east. From my exhaustion and the severity of my dehydration, it's fair to estimate that I was adrift for several days. Hold on. How do I know all of this? Not much point in wondering. I should instead thank my lucky stars that I was rescued. Now, to go over what else I learned. This passenger ship embarked from the Brightlands several days ago. Its destination is a large port town called Canelbrine. Perhaps there's someone there who can shed a light on who I am. Ah, yes. These kind sailors brought my possessions to the passenger's cabin. Maybe they can offer some material clues as to my identity. I should sort through them before we make landfall. Hmm... This satchel... I... recognize it. It's mine. It seems rather hastily stuffed. I must have been in quite the hurry. Medicinal herbs. A mortar and pestle. For preparing salves and the like, no doubt. Well, well. It seems I am, I was, an apothecary. Hmm? What's this? A white flower? Why would I have something like this? Yet another mystery. Land ho! All hands on deck! Sure, you'll be all right, lass. Hard to get by without memories. I've remembered a little. 
enough. I was an apothecary. I appreciate your concern, but no need to fret about me. I'll remember the rest in time. So, know the seas, and you'll know thyself. An old sea dog taught me that proverb. May the wind and the waves always find you well, Casti. Thank you, Captain. For everything. What a bustling little town. Hey, get a load of her. Huh? She's one of them, isn't she? Yeah, no mistaking it. I appear to be causing quite a stir. Oh well. First things first. I need to find clues as to who I may be. I should speak to the people of this town. I might glean some knowledge about my past. It seems I've been given the cold shoulder. In that case, I'll just have to try my luck with someone else. Excuse me, are you all right? What's going on here? Is something wrong with him? He's burning up. We need to get him inside. Looks like sun fever. He's covered in rashes. Rash. Vomiting. It could be the onset of some sort of strange poison. I should have the herbs to treat this. Hold on for just a moment. Step one, lower the fever. Luckily, we caught this sickness in its early stages. Dash of lycanth seed mixed with some of these herbs should do the trick. Good. I still remember my craft, at least. <laughs> there, there. Drink up. Slowly now. That's a good boy. The fever's receding. He's sleeping peacefully now. Your work was flawless from diagnosis to treatment. The very model of an apothecary. Thank you, Miss... Uh... Malaya. I'm a traveling apothecary. Thank you, Malaya. My name's Casti. Sorry to say, I don't remember much else. I was an apothecary, but what kind I cannot say. I've... come down with a bad case of amnesia. What? Then how did you diagnose and treat that boy? It seems my hands still remember their craft. Strange, isn't it? Hmm. Who are you? Wait. That blue uniform. 
It can't be. Get back! Don't you dare touch my brother! What? Senna, did she hurt you? How'd you sneak in here? What'd you do to him? Calm down. She's an apothecary. She treated your brother for his ills. Out! You're one of them, aren't you? Heirs apothecaries! Heirs apothecaries? What? That blue uniform. That sigil. There's no mistaking it. <sighs> The whole town's in an uproar about you, witch. Word is, one of you pestilence mongers have been lurking about. Pestilence monger? I don't understand. And I don't care. Out! Out! Let's go, Casty. Are these heirs apothecaries? I've heard the name before. You have? What sort of people are they? Why was that man so hostile to me? Mm. Ah, what's wrong with me? We have far more pressing business than my lost history. I fear Senna's illness is only the beginning. If I can't identify the root of this sickness, it could engulf the whole town. There's no time to waste. You're going to help them? Even after how you've been treated? Would your time not be better spent treating your own woes? Saving these people comes first. As long as I can heal the sick, who I am is ultimately trivial. <sighs> the very model of an apothecary indeed. Very well. You have my aid. Let's split up and find the source of this sickness. Malaya, thank you. One of those heirs apothecaries, aren't you? We won't let you fool us. I'm sorry, but would you mind telling me about these apothecaries? I'm unfamiliar with them. Don't play dumb. Everyone knows what that little band of apothecaries have been up to on the Eastern Continent. They travel around charging only a pittance for services. But it's all a sham. Their medicine is poison, and they've killed more than they've helped. I even heard they butchered an entire town not long ago. Uh... I don't know what dark purpose drives them, and I don't care. Word is, one of them just showed up in town, and you're the only strange apothecary around here, so... You... may be right. The truth is, I don't know if I am what you think I am. I remember little of my past. A likely story! We're on to you! Off with you! Who I was and what I've done, I cannot say. Nevertheless, right now all I want is to help the people of this town. I'm looking for clues as to what is causing the people here to grow sick. Please, if you know anything, tell me. Marlo, what's wrong? Stop! Get away from him! What's the big idea? He needs help. Or do you want me to leave him there to die? I said step away! 
He may be contagious. C contagious? I knew it. The symptoms are the same. I need to ease his fever, and quickly. I'll carry him. All of you stay here. There. He should make it now. She... she healed Marlo. Just who are you, really? Help! People are fainting from some sort of strange fever. What in the world's going on? Damn! And of course this happens while our healers are away. Let me treat them. There. I've done what I can for now. The sickness is spreading fast. We need to find its source or there won't be anyone standing before long. Are they... are they better? We're out of the woods for now, but it's too early to breathe easy. I, uh... I'm sorry about before. I shouldn't have said what I did. Senna gave me a tongue lashing about it too. He said you saved his life. I know I've got no right to ask this after how I treated you. But please, save our town? Save my friends? I intend to, but I need your aid first. Help me locate the source of this contagion. Huh. Well, I don't know if this will help, but... Earlier today, Senna said the water tasted funny. Hey, Ma said the same thing to me this morning. Really? I boiled some water this morning and didn't notice anything strange. The water? Of course! Maybe those who contracted this illness all drank the water without boiling it first. If that's true, then that must be the source. A fine deduction, Casty. I agree. We draw our water from a spring that flows out of a cavern south of town. Then my course is clear. I must hurry to this cavern and cleanse the spring before the sickness spreads further. We're coming too. This is our town. It's our job to protect it. I appreciate the offer, but I'm afraid I must insist that you stay. Cleansing noxious substances is dangerous work. Stay here and see to your sick. Well, all right. Take care of yourself, Apothecary. Malaya, could you remain here to treat these people? You have a habit of putting others above yourself, don't you? Fine, just come back in one piece, Casty. <laughs> I'll try. The world needs more apothecaries like you, Malaya. I'm setting out for the cave to the south. I'll be back soon. These bars are broken. Something must have forced its way in here. The wellspring is just a little further. I'll need to approach it with caution. What is this foul smell?
It is true what they say. Filth is the root of all illness. Now then, what is it that's made all this mess? Foul vapors abound. I need to be careful not to inhale any effluvia. <coughs> I think I found the source. So you're the ones causing all this trouble. Bloodshot eyes and jaws dripping with venomous foam. It's obvious that you're infected. Your very touch poisons the waters here, sickening all who drink it. I couldn't convince you to leave peacefully, could I? The townsfolk need these waters more than you. <sighs> it was worth a shot. Time to clean up this mess. Wipe down. What to do? What to do? Cool 
Here I go. I know no cure for evil. Don't think badly of me. That takes care of the root of this illness. All that's left is to sprinkle pure bomb leaves around. Liberally.
With time, the corruption here should fade. There. A dash or two of pure bomb for myself, too. I won't do anything for the smell, but I'll feel better for it nonetheless. Now, back to town to relay the good news. cleared the source of the infection polluting your waters. The spring will run clean again in time. Nevertheless, I recommend boiling all your water for a good while yet. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. You're Senna's brother, yes? How is he? Back on his feet, and as rambunctious as ever. Not a trace of that nasty fever left. I'm glad to hear it. Allow me to stop by later to check on him, just in case. We were wrong about you. You helped us, even after we treated you like dirt. How can we ever make it up to you? <laughs> Don't worry. It's clean water under the bridge. Although, I do have one request. Anything. Just name it, Casty. May I borrow your bath? I'm glad our paths crossed. But it's time for me to move on. The open road is called. Malaya, may I ask what it is that compels you to travel? <sighs> I'm searching for a way to cure a terrible disease. I've identified the ingredients I need to brew the medicine, but I've yet to discover the correct recipe. So I travel in hopes of completing my cure, and saving as many lives as I can along the way. Is there anything I can do to assist you? No. This is my problem. My burden to bear. You have your own troubles to see to. Your memory, for one. I need to know who their apothecaries are. And who I am as well. I can't rest until I know. Malaya, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to know something about them. Mm. Please, Malaya, I need to know. Tell me, I'm begging you. Anyone can create a cure. It's you. It's up to you now.
Live, Casty. There's someone you have to save. Vision. That was Malaya. Then we've met before? What's going on? Malaya. What made you act as if you didn't know me? Why would you... Malaya who put me aboard that skiff. But why? Who or what were we running from? If only I could remember. I need more clues. Something else to go on. A hidden pocket in the bottom of my satchel? A book. Treatment log. In my hands, I held a diary. One I'm sure was penned by my own hand. It contained a record of treatments given, patients seen. Two towns were mentioned within its pages. Sai and Winter Bloom, more notable by far. It's covered with blood. Everything beyond the first few pages is too stained and smeared with blood to make out. What in the world is the story here? It's time I went on my own journey. This journal is the only clue I have. I have little choice but to visit Sai and Winterbloom and see what I can find. I need to rediscover who I am. And there's something else. Something important I'm forgetting. I need to remember. This is Sai. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. Perhaps something in this place will help unlock the door to my memories. Help! Someone! Anyone! My friend is wounded! Someone help him! What's going on? Damn. Again? It'll be someone else's turn next. It's been tit for tat. May I ask what's going on? Fighting, lady. With the soldiers of the town over yonder. Folk living in this neighborhood are outsiders. Immigrants. 
We don't have much to live off of. Anyone who wanted to make a good life for themselves used to head to the next town for work. All was fine, till a few years ago. Folks there suddenly decided we were undesirables. That's the cause of the bloodshed? That's the short of it, yeah. So my turn. Who are you, lady? You don't look like one of us. Just a simple traveling apothecary. I seek only to give aid. If you have wounded, I will treat them. Where can I find that woman who was shouting earlier? The hospital. It's in a hovel in the northwest of town. Thank you. I'll head there immediately. How long are you slouches planning on lazing around? You know the rules. You don't work, you don't eat. I... Uh... Master Edmund, please. I've only just staunched this man's wounds. Spare me the sob story, Bone Mender. A man's gotta be strong if he wants to make it in this world. Gotta be a provider, you get me? You don't work, you don't eat. No excuses. Excuse me, but if I may intrude... Haven't seen you around here before. You got a problem with me? Speak up! Injuries need time to heal. He cannot work in his condition. He requires rest now. Exertion will cause his wounds to reopen, putting his very life at risk. <sighs> Boss, I... I can't. <sighs> Worthless. This is a waste of my time. Listen up, all of you. You got backbone, you come with me. Out of my way. Don't bother me unless you can hold a sword. <laughs> the pain! The pain! These people are suffering. I must help them. I should speak to that apothecary. Thank you for before, Miss... Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. May I offer my assistance? It would be most welcome. There's more hurts here than I can tend alone. There. We've done what we can. It's still too early to rest on our laurels. We'll need to burn the candle at both ends tonight. I... Hold on. I was too busy to give you a good look earlier, but we've met before, haven't we? have to forgive me if I don't recall. I've lost my memories. I see. I've been retracing my past, trying to discover who I am. In that case, it's my turn to help you. Ask me anything. I'll be glad to answer. Ugh! <sighs> 
the pain. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna make it. Forget me. Uh, help the others. It's no good. I can't see to all their hearts alone. I heard this town had troubles, but yeesh. Then our journey here was not wasted. These wounds fester faster than I anticipated. The desert climb, I wager. Just like the chief said, good thing we came prepared. Excuse me, who are you people? Heirs Apothecaries, we're here to help. Heirs Apothecaries? Chief! I've done what I could. The rest is up to you, Chief Casty. Chief? Was I... The leader of Heirs Apothecaries? It was four years ago, if I recall. Not long after the fighting began. You arrived at the head of your apothecaries to offer aid to our wounded. <sighs> the name Heirs Apothecaries was anathema in Candlebrine. And yet, here... They're seen as saviors. Why? Mender! There are more wounded on the front lines! Take me to them. I'll see to their hurts. Wait, there's no need to risk your life for us. You're here to reclaim your lost memory, right? I am, but healing those in need is my mission and my creed. Casty. Thank you. I'll leave the front lines to you and see to things here. <laughs> I heard they were injured. Where are they? Ha! <laughs> None here. Not on our side, anyway. Was there some mistake? A messenger came speaking of wounded. Yeah, they're wounded. Enemies. I plan to really show him what for today, so we set up a little ambush. <laughs> when what do you know? Huge patch of quicksand appears right as they were marching over. <laughs> the fools all got swallowed up by the sands. Gulp. <laughs> Serves them right. I could get used to this. Victory without even drawing my sword. <laughs> Whoa there. Leaving so soon? Of course. Those people are in need of my aid, and so to their aid I go. You think I'll just stand here and let you help our enemies? Hello? Is anyone there? Please shout if you can hear me. <clears throat> Over there! Found you! You move fast, girl. Shh! Quiet! That way! Hey! Please, help me! I, I, I can't move! Don't move! I'm coming! It'll be alright! Hurry! Before it gets back! <clears throat> it's 
stop thrashing. Strange. Everyone here seems terrified. Were they attacked? This isn't good. At this rate, they'll freeze. You there. Yes, you. Bring me kindling, anything that can make a fire. Water too while you're at it. Don't spout nonsense. I'm not helping them. They're enemies. I ain't giving them a drop of... Stop blustering and fetch, now! Huh? Damn your eyes. Fine. Kindling and water, right? Thank you. These people owe their lives to you. I was like them once. I was a soldier for the other side, living fat off my daily wages. One day a bunch of outsiders tried to move into our kingdom. Lots of kids. Well, we went in and sent them packing. King's orders. Didn't think much of it at first, just followed orders. But eventually I started thinking. Is what I got worth bullying innocents? Do I want to protect my coin that bad? Long story short, I got real pissed off about it all. So I switched sides. Hmm. You know what, Bone Mender? You're all right. It takes a lot of guts to stick your neck into someone else's fight just to help folk. Watching you work, well, makes me feel like an idiot for fighting in the first place. I'm a simple healer, nothing more. <sighs> I'm... I'm alive? That you are. The others, too. My name's Griff. I command these soldiers. We were marching to battle when a terrible monster attacked. The ground turned to quicksand, and we were pulled under. A monster? That sounds like... a sand lion. A sand lion? What's that? A beast that lives in the sands round here. Usually pretty docile. All the fighting must have set the thing off. Once one of them goes berserk, nothing to do but run for the hills until it calms. But many of my soldiers are still back at our encampment. They're in peril. I must warn them. Hold on now. You're too injured. I'll go. As will I. Commander Griff, you're still too hurt to walk. Rest. Recover your strength. Thank you. Come on, Bone Mender. Time to go to someone else's aid. Are we too late? There's no one here. I can only pray they weren't caught when the ground gave way. Help me. Hold on, I'm coming. Watch out. Huh? Are you all right? Somehow. This guy is too. You're barely scratched. That's a relief. 
Yeah. The Sand Lion's back there. We need to pull these people out quickly. At this rate, they'll be buried alive. Are you well enough to help, Master Edmund? I'd like you to pull these people out and get them to safety. Hold on. What are you planning, Bonemender? I'm going to have a word with that Sand Lion. Do you have a death wish? Let me call for backup first. There's no time. If it thrashes about again, every last person here will call these sands their grave. But you'll... Here's a fun fact, Master Edmund. Apothecaries are trained in combat medicine. I can handle myself. Don't worry about me. You've got some guts, Bone Mender. Leave these people to me. Just... don't die. Thank you. Take care of them, Master Edmund. Hello, Sand Lion. I'm sorry I have to do this, but I can't let you run amok any longer. Time for you to take a nap. I'll send you back to your nest. Hmm. Let me look at you. What to do? Afraid of the dark. Calculations come out. My turn. My turn is over. Aver, come to peace. Here I go.
poison slash. What to do? Don't blink. My prey away. No, then. Rise, fear. My turn. My turn. Afraid of the dark. Thinking time. Rise, fear. It's learned its lesson. The shaking stopped, and the sand seemed to have stabilized. We should be able to focus on rescuing those still trapped. Which only leaves the little problem of war to deal with. Edmund. I never thought I'd see the day you'd save my life. I had thought of outsiders only as threats. Locusts that devoured our food. Contributing nothing. But it appears that I was badly mistaken. I swear to you that when I return, I'll make a proposal to the king himself. I'll beg him to let us lay down our arms and welcome your people as our own. Seems I owe you an apology, and my thanks. <sighs> if it wasn't for a certain nosy do-gooder's nonsense, I would have never opened my eyes. It's better to join hands as friends than raise arms as foes. I couldn't have said it better myself. I owe my life to your mercy and your valor. I won't soon forget it. You are one of Heir's apothecaries? Yes. I heard they were a gang of scoundrels who murdered the sick under their care. It seems those rumors were greatly exaggerated. You saved the lives of me and my soldiers. On behalf of all of us here, I thank you. I only did what was right. I hear that you've misplaced your memories. Yes, but... A rumor reached my ears not long ago that may interest you. What sort of rumor? It concerned Heirs Apothecaries. Heirs Apothecaries. In other words, the association I was a part of. If I speak with him, it may jog loose some memories.
empty village. Wait. Rain. Purple rain? Dad. They're all dead. 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 Rain! Storm! Keep on pouring! Do you understand what you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? <laughs> This rain brings salvation! From the look on your face, it seems you've remembered something. If you'll excuse me, I'll take my leave now. Goodbye, Apothecary. Horrendous rain. And who was that robed figure? I can't remember. <sighs> Something terrible happened in that place. I'm sure of it. Some awful tragedy. And I need to remember. This is Winter Bloom. According to my treatment log, I've been here before. I have no memory of that visit, of course, and yet, I am at ease here. This ruckus. She's back! Miss Casty is back! Casty? No kidding? Welcome back, dear. We were all hoping to see your face around here again. Excuse me, but you recognize me? Huh? What are you saying? How could I forget you, after all you did for us? Oh... Forgive me, but I... have lost my memories. I came here in hopes of finding something that would jog my memory. Well, we'd all be happy to talk your ear off if it helps. Thank you, everyone. Just say the word, Miss Casty. 
I'd be happy to chat for hours. Though, come to think of it, a Lady Rosa was the one closest to you. Rosa? She's ruler of these lands. You'll find her in her manor in the northwest of town. Thank you for all your help. I'll go see her at once. Oh. oh my! If it isn't Casty! This person seems to recognize me as well. I apologize for the sudden intrusion, but I would like to request an audience with Lady Rosa. Word of your coming has already reached us. This way, please. <coughs> ah, Casty. Good to see... <laughs> Please be at ease, Lady Rosa. Just Rosa will do. No need for formality between old friends. <sighs> so it's true. You really don't remember. There's time for that later. You need medicine, I'll... No need. I already have some. This is the medicine you prepared for me. It is? Dozens of apothecaries saw me before you came. They all declared me incurable. Lost cause. You were different. I owe my life to your fortitude and skill. Oh, I'm glad to hear I was able to help you. Would you allow me to examine you? The medicine appears to be slowing the disease's progress. But your entire body is showing signs of mild paralysis. At this rate, you won't last another month. I'm aware. Only a few grains of sand remain in my hourglass. Yet, I wish to live just a little longer. Rosa. Mother, I brought your medicine. Casty? It's me, Malia! It's been so long! I've gathered balm leaves from the herb garden every day, just like you told me. Garden? What? garden the one you planted for us for mother a garden with the right herbs i may be able to craft a special elixir for rosa would you show me to this garden of yours it would be my pleasure the garden is next to the house i'll go ahead and unlock it Rest easy, Rosa. I'll be back soon. Casti, how is Lady Rosa? I won't mince words. She doesn't have long. Nevertheless, she's fighting with all her strength to hold on. 
Lady Rosa suffers for the sake of her family and her legacy. Malia is still a mere child of eleven years. In the laws of our land, she cannot inherit her mother's estate until she is twelve. If the lady perishes before her daughter comes of age, her lands and her title will pass to her next nearest kin. So Rosa wants to pass on her estate to Malia. That's why she's so desperate. I'll do everything I can for her. I promise you. I'll see that Rosa's hopes do not crumble around her. These plants are well tended. I've taken care of them every day, Casty, just like you taught me. <laughs> You're such a good daughter, Malia. <laughs> Thanks. May I take some cuttings? I need them to mix an elixir for your mother. Help yourself. Rosa is growing weaker by the moment. Before long, she'll be completely paralyzed. But I know just the thing for her. Scale bark leaf, snow grass. Can't forget the bloodberry. You can never have enough bloodberries. I should ask Malia where they are. There, that should do it. Thank you, Malia. Hey, Casty? Is Mother... Is she gonna die? <sighs> I won't lie to you, Malia. I'm sorry. No. It's all right. Thanks for being honest. I've been with her all this time and watched her getting weaker. I expected this. Even after she became bedridden, she still put our town above all else. I... I want to follow in her footsteps. I want her to know her spirit will live on in me. <laughs> Why do I have to wait until I'm 12? Oh, rats. I shouldn't have wasted your time while Mother still needs you. It's all right, Malia. And I promise you... I'll do everything in my power to see your wish comes true. Come on. Your mother is waiting. Greg, what are you doing here? Is that any way to treat a guest? I'm here to see how our dear sickly Rosa's doing. <coughs> Bad cough, huh? You don't look so good. 
Worse than the last time I came by. Why not just die already? Don't worry. I'll look after your lands and... Huh? Who in the hells are you? It's Casty. Don't you recognize her? Casty? Oh, yes. That healer. One of those heirs apothecaries. You've wasted your time here. Rosa's going to bite it, and there's nothing you can... Enough! I will not permit you to insult our guest, Greg. Hey, no need to get all snippy. All I'm saying is... If you have something to say, you'll address it to me. I am the lady of this house. Ugh, fine. I've had my fill of this place for today anyway. Speaking of which, I'm a guest in your house too. You can at least see me to the door. Very well, if you'll follow me. Lady Malia, are you sure? Of course, I shall handle this. Damn. Why'd that healer have to show up now? I am sorry you had to see that. Greg is my nephew. He's not a bad man. He simply wants to change this town for the better. Yet, he is too hasty. He plans to force his vision upon the people, and in his hurry to help, ignores their needs. So that's why you're so desperate to have Malia inherit your title. Forgive me, but I think I need to rest now. <coughs> Rosa, I've made an elixir for you. It should ease your pain. Here, drink deep. Thank you, Casty. I'm already feeling better. I recommend you get some rest. Sleep will aid the medicine in its work. <laughs> You haven't changed one whit, Casty. What was it that you always said? Ah, yes. I only wish to extend a helping hand to all in need. Uh. Even without your memories, you are still the same old Casty. Rosa. Casty, if I may have a word. I found this out front. A letter? Apothecary, we have Malia. If you ever want to see her again, come to the tavern in the Thieves' Quarter. Alone. Malia. I've searched the whole manor and there's no sign of her anywhere. Oh dear. Oh dear. What will I tell Lady Rosa? Where is the tavern they spoke of in the letter? On the north side of town. But the thieves' quarter is too dangerous. People get robbed there. You can't mean to... I do. I intend to rescue her. But... 
Stay with Rosa and don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Nasty. Malia! Now, now. Not another step. What have you done to Malia? Oh, don't worry about her. I'm a pacifist at heart. I gave her a little something to put her to sleep. What do you hope to gain by this treachery? Oh, that's easy. I want you to stop ministering to Rosa and get out of my town. You want that title that badly? I'm a visionary. I'm going to turn this backwater burg into a thriving metropolis, like Clockbank. But that fool Rosa is too stuck in the past to see the future. Eventually, I started thinking. I could do a better job than her. I could change this town. You would pressure her now? When she's battling a mortal illness? It's for her own good. She should give the town to me and retire, so she can focus on recuperating. I've almost got her convinced, but you're going to ruin all my hard work. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. Leave, and I promise I'll send Malia home. Ugh. Blah, blah, blah. Could you shut up already? Let's get to the point. You want this busybody gone, right? There's an easier way to make her disappear. Hold on. What are you planning? Depends on what she values more. Her money or her life. I hired you to stand there and look menacing, nothing more. If you walk out that door right now, I'll pretend like none of this ever happened. Mick! Mac! Yeah, boss? Little Miss Tough Girl here is on her way out of town. Show her the boot, and take her purse for the trouble. wasn't supposed to happen. It's not my place to judge you for your crimes. Examine your deeds and your heart, and if you find them wanting, become a better person. Tell Rosa what happened here. <laughs> Malia, are you all right? I am now. Thanks, Casty. Let's go home, shall we? Your mother must be worried. I cannot thank you enough for everything you have done for us, Casty. I need no thanks. I merely did what was right. Here, your medicine. You'll stay in bed and rest now, understood?
mother. Lily. Yes, my lady. I thank you for your loyalty to House Glenville. Lady Rosa, don't leave us. Greg. I yes? I leave our town in your hands. Yours and Malia's both. Listen to our people. Care for them. And make our home a better place. I will. I promise. So you promise me we'll see it together. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Cas... T... Rosa... It looks like Rosa has something she wants to talk about. I should inquire and give her a chance. Do you think I'll last until my daughter's birthday? Be strong, Rosa. You want to live to see Malia follow in your footsteps, right? Mm. I do. But that is only what I want for her as head of my household. Hmm? What I really want for my child is for her to be happy. <laughs> when I admit it aloud like that, I find that I no longer care a fiddle about the succession. I just want to live long enough to celebrate her birthday one last time. Nothing more. Rosa. Thank you. It's thanks to your skill that I still draw breath. No, Rosa. It's not my skill that sustained you, but your own strength. Malia... I have a present for you. I give this to you. The brooch of joy. Giving me your brooch? Happy birthday, my angel. Thank you, mother. I'll cherish it always. I promise you, I'll grow up to be a kind and just ruler, just like you. So don't worry about me, mother. Yes. 
thirsty. Do you really have to go so soon? I... I wanted to thank you for everything you did for my mother. I promise you, I'll continue to tend the garden. Those herbs will be used to heal all who need them. <laughs> I know you'll be a kind and just leader, Malia. Oh, I almost forgot to ask. How is Mr. Trousseau? Trousseau? He was such a nice man. It'd be lovely to see him again. Oh, don't tell me you forgot all about him, too. I've never heard that name before. I wonder who he could be. sister had a good life. If mommy died too, I... I... There, there, Malia. I'm sure your mother will be better in no time. She has me caring for her, after all. <laughs> You're right. I have to save her. I have to save her. I won't let Malia cry. I can't. I promised Yorna. But... Rosa's illness is... incurable. And I've only just begun studying the healing arts. Damn it. Damn it! I'm worthless. Worthless! are you people? Heirs Apothecaries. We heard someone named Rosa was in need of healing. And it is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. <sighs> I remember now. To extend a helping hand to all those in need. That was our creed. The driving purpose of Heirs Apothecaries. It was in this town I met that young man named Trousseau, but... Just who was he? It's no use. My memory is a blank. It was something important. I remember that much. But what? <sighs> I won't remember anything sitting here. I need to continue my journey if I'm to have any hope of recovering what was lost to me.
sigh and winter bloom. Names discovered in my log, and gleaming waystones to guide me on my journey. Visiting those towns jogged loose forgotten memories. Memories of my life before, of when I was one of Air's apothecaries. And of that rain. Malaya? What are you doing here? It's been a slow process, but I've remembered some of what I'd forgotten. We knew each other once, didn't we? Yes, we did. Like you, I was part of Air's Apothecaries. Why did you lie to me? Why did you pretend not to recognize me? <laughs> Tell me, Malaya. I can't answer that, Casti. The village of Helix. Ring a bell? Helix? <laughs> this memory. I'll be waiting for you there. Malaya! Helix... Is that where I'll find Air's Apothecaries? What happened there? I can't remember. I need to see for myself. It's the only way to remember everything. Helix. Something bad happened here. It seems deserted. Malaya, where are you? Malaya! You came, Casty. What were you doing here? You're asking the wrong question. You should instead be asking, what happened here? Does the word Santanejo mean anything to you? It was a flower of great importance to Air's apothecaries. Santanejo. <laughs> Good, Casty. It's finally time to remember. I'll even lend a hand.
Our story starts two years ago. It was a summer filled with the fragrance of green. The season of clouds and rain was right around the bend. Am I going to die? No, you're gonna live. Help is coming. Just hold on. You're faster than expected. How is he, Malaya? In a great deal of pain, but lucid. I've patched him up as best I could. We were right to keep him here for observation. Here, Lind. This should ease your suffering. Pulse strong. Breathing steady. Good. Thanks. I'll be able to climb up and fix that darned roof for sure now. <laughs> Easy there, old timer. Learn your limits. You're not climbing anything. A leaky roof won't kill you, but recklessness will. You worry about getting better. I'll worry about those repairs. Casty, really? Carpentry isn't our vocation. But that won't stop our mother hen here. She just can't resist clucking over her charges. No teasing. Oh, where's Trousseau? Sorry I'm late. I had to see an unexpected patient. Speak of the devil, dear. Welcome back, Trousseau. Who was this patient? Sally. She fainted, so I went to see what was wrong. I administered to her, and she seemed stable for the time being. Here, my notes. Though, I'm still concerned for her. I'd like to follow up on her soon. <laughs> I'm not surprised to hear that. You care more about your patients than any other apothecary I've met, Trousseau. That's the heart of what it means to be a healer. To extend the helping hand to all those in need. Casty's creed and words to live by. It was the force of her spirit that brought us all together. That creed's what makes our order special. I appreciate the kind words, everyone. But no working yourselves into the ground. Let's all take a break, yes? And that should about do it. Everyone seems to be doing well. Now to my last job for the day. Sorting through all these patient notes. Help! Temp? Who's shouting? What's all this ruckus about? His face is as pale as a ghost. What happened, Tem? It's Sally! She... she suddenly fainted! I yelled and yelled, and, but she wouldn't wake up! Could you take me to her, Tem? We'll all go. Let me take a look, Trousseau. This swelling on her forehead... It wasn't there before. Some catalyst must have exacerbated her injury after you left. There's no way you could have predicted this, Trousseau. <sighs> we'll need medicine to reduce the swelling. Wait, you don't mean Santaneo, do you? 
Santanejo blossoms? Those flowers that grow on the summit of Mount Lithia? That place is rife with monsters. It's too dangerous for anyone. Hold it, Trousseau. Where are you off to? Flower picking, I presume. Please don't. You'll just end up another patient. We have medicine that can help with her condition. It won't do much, but we should try it first and see. But Santanejo Blossoms are the only thing that can save her for certain. If she can be saved, I want to do it. With my own hands. <laughs> Wait, that's... Malaya, you and the others use what salves you have on hand. Keep her stable until we return. Trousseau and I will go gather the blossoms we need. Chief... Hold it! There's caring for patients, and then there's risking your life. You can't... No, Andy. I can, and I must. I share Trousseau's feelings. This child's life is on the line, and we must do all we can for her. <sighs> Those are the Chief's orders, Andy. We'll do everything we can to keep her alive, Casty. Just be safe out there. Thank you, Malaya. Chief! That's it! We can save her with this! Stay strong, Trousseau. Drink this. It's bitter as sin, but it will refresh you. Skybomb? You never fail to impress. How'd you know we'd need it? <laughs> I never leave home without it. You all push yourselves too hard. Yes, we do. By the way, why'd you support my decision back there? It was your spirit that motivated me. That earnest desire to save a life. You showed empathy and kindness. As a fellow apothecary, it felt right to encourage that in you. <laughs> there you go again, with that mother hen routine. It is our purpose to extend a helping hand to all those in need. It was that creed, your creed, that brought me here. You changed my destiny. I became an apothecary to cure my sister's illness. A malady said to be incurable. I studied for years and years. And in the end, my efforts were for naught. I watched her die in front of my very eyes. Yet, on her deathbed, she said this to me. Though my life could not be saved, your hands are those of a healer. Help those in need. Trousseau. There. We have the blossoms we need. Let's take them to Sally, Chief. She's waiting for us to heal her. And so we return safely to Sally's side. The Santanejo blossoms in hand. We saved her life that day. Santanejo. 
Trousseau and I collected those flowers together. He was the gentlest of us all, and the purest of heart. Yeah, that's right. Too pure by half. It's what made it easier for the darkness to find a hold. And stain it with evil. What? Search your memories, Casty. You're almost there. Where are you going, Malaya? The town square. Come find me when you're ready. was a long trip. Long, yes, but productive. We saved a lot of lives. <laughs> and now, I'm happy to save my sore feet. Oh, I can't wait to dive into bed. <laughs> you were a trooper too, Jaya. I hope Trousseau had some time to relax while we were gone. There's our mother hen at it again, clucking over her chicks. Oh, stop teasing already. Hmm. It's darker than it usually is at this time of day. I can barely see. Whoa! Easy there, Jaya. Oh no! The animals! Chief, I'll see to them. <sighs> Something's wrong. We should hurry to the village. The healers are back! Help! Help us! It can't be. Sally! Tim! No pulse. What? The hell's going on here? What happened? Sally and Tim went out to play, but never returned. The whole village went out despite the rain to search for them. We eventually found them behind the mountain. But by then, there wasn't any hope left for them. Trousseau was here, wasn't he? Why didn't he help them? We went to the House of Healing, but no one was there. Trousseau was gone? But where did he go? <sighs> Black swelling all over both children's bodies. Signs that both coughed up blood. Their blood is... black. Black blood? This must be some sort of poison. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, Apothecary? I'm not feeling so great either. And the same goes for a lot of us. My body won't stop shaking. Signs of paralysis setting in. On. Black blood. Andy, Malaya, quickly, they'll need help breathing. <sighs> I couldn't save them. Not one. Damn it. What the hell's going on here? 
Chief. The whole town's dead. Bodies are everywhere. We need to stay calm and go over what we know. The first to fall sick were Sally and Tim. After that, everyone who went out looking for them fell one after the other. What sort of poison could do this? Wait. Black swelling and blood, I know those symptoms. The puddles. The water. The color is all wrong. Randy, you're on. That black bruising. Huh? You too, Andy. Damn it. Now whatever it is, we've got it too. The rain. It's... purple? Uh. Everyone, your coats. Quickly. It's the rain. There's some scourge in it that's causing the sickness. Look! Over there! A wildfire? No. Trees don't burn like that. Then what's causing that smoke? I don't know, but I have a hunch. Whatever evil infects this rain, that smoke is the cause. It's spreading poison into the air to rain down upon us. What do we do, Cassie? If we do nothing, this pestilence will only spread further. If we are to save anyone, we need to stop that smoke. There's no one else who can help. It's up to us. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go! Andy and Randy, you're with us! Got it. Elma, you stay here. Help anyone you can. Let's move. It can't be. Dead. They're all dead. 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 Rain! Storm! Keep on pouring! Ah. Hello there, Chief. Welcome home. It's a shame to see you here. I tried so hard to pick a time when everyone was absent. But you always rush to help those in need, don't you, Chief? Trousseau? You're the cause of all of this? Explain yourself! Now! This smoke? I'm burning a special sort of poison. It'll rise up and up, turn into clouds, then rain on down. <laughs> These are tears, friends. The tears of those suffering in this world. What are you saying? Do you understand what you're doing? Of course, Chief. I'm following our precepts to their logical end. Extending a helping hand to all in need. Isn't that right? <laughs> this rain brings salvation! Trousseau, Sally and Tem are dead. I know. I killed them. Oh, dear me. Our precious children are missing. Who cares if we get soaked? 
We must find them. This can't be true. You... You used the children to lure the villagers out into the rain? Why? You risked your life to save Sally once. I did. I was a fool who hadn't yet realized the truth. What truth? Didn't you say you want to ease people's suffering? Save them with your own hands? Come now, Chief. What do you think suffering is, hmm? Existence. <sighs> do you remember the man we met during that relief mission, oh, so long ago? He opened my eyes. I see it all so clearly now. He showed me the truth of this twisted world. We live on a vast graveyard of decay. Maggots glutting on rotting flesh. Chief, you don't look so well. Poison finally taking its toll, yes? No need to fret. I'll save you from your suffering. I'll save all of you. You should thank me for the courtesy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. An apothecary's hands are not meant to take life away. And yours were the gentlest hands of all Trousseau. Casty! Open your eyes! This isn't like you! This isn't who you are! Casty, forget it! He's beyond hope! Get a hold of yourself! We need to retreat! Return to the village! No! We need to put out this fire! Doesn't look like it'll be easy to douse. He's likely got enough phosphol to burn for days. The logical thing would be to run, to save who we can save. There may still be some left alive. Why, Trousseau? <coughs> Casty! There, there, Chief. No regrets now. I'll extend my hand to all those you can no longer save. In fact, it's time for me to be on my way. There's to be a coronation in Timberain, a kingdom far to the west. I hear so many will be gathered there to see it. So very, very many people. They won't be expecting me to rain on their parade. No. So. Trousseau! You monster! Randy! Yeah! Malaya, get the chief to safety. Andy! Randy! I got one last lesson for you, Trousseau. This is what it means to extend a helping hand, no matter what it takes! No!
Ah, what a shame. The fire's out. Oh well. I just about finished with this place anyway. My poison spreads through the air too, you know. It'll find you no matter where you hide. My dearest colleagues, I bid you farewell. It doesn't look like it'll let up anytime soon. Malaya. Casty, hang in there. Casty, Casty. No, I won't let you die. Hold on, just a little longer. No drops. Swallow these petals, Casty. Uh, uh, that should allow you to fight back against Trousseau's poison. If I could only find a way to turn these flowers into a more potent brew. Damn my inexperience! Come on, Casty. Delma, where are you? Someone help. <laughs> I, I know that, Winnie. gave her life to save you. She was truly a kind soul. <laughs> I missed you, Jaya. Oh, you're weak. You've avoided the rain, but the poison's in the air as well. We need to get out of here. Please lend me your strength, Jaya. Rain clouds are blowing off towards the mountains. And we should head the other way. I must save Casty. I can't afford to focus on anything else. <coughs> Live, Casty. Live.
a rare flower. With the power to cure the black blood. I'll store it in your satchel for you. You are the only hope of saving people from this foul rain. A cure. It's you. It's up to you now. So, you've remembered everything. <sighs> Malaya... You're no longer in this world, are you? That's right. I'm just fragments of your memories. A phantasm. A dream. Just... a memory. That's why I can only tell you things you already know. But now, at last, that job is done. <sighs> Malaya. You and the others saved my life. Now it's my turn. I swear to you, I will stop Trousseau. I believe in you, Casty. <sighs> Goodbye, Malaya. So this is Timber Rain. Trousseau said this town is where they're hosting the coronation. A lot of people are gathering by that castle. Which means that I've made it in time. There is a heaviness in the air. Rain is coming. 
The heavens are on Trousseau's side. I need to learn my way around this town before it's too late. Hey, Bone Mender. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Casty. Remember me? Master Edmund? What are you doing here? Living is what? Thanks to you, we've been accepted as citizens of Timberane. Today's the coronation, so we're out and forced to celebrate up a storm. A storm, you say? The Prince is big on garish celebrations. People from all over the world have gathered here to join in the fun. Even some Scrivener types from the East. Why the frown? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me! An attack on the coronation? Shh! Keep your voice down! So, you believe me? Of course I believe you. You're running around sticking your nose in other people's business again, trying to save the world, right? You need my help, Bone Mender? You just say the word. Thank you, Master Edmund. On that note, I need you to get all these people far away from here and out of the rain. Huh? How am I supposed to move this many people? Me and my lot aren't sheepdogs, Bone Mender. You're right. We don't have the numbers to evacuate everyone. Numbers, eh? I might be able to do something about that. Follow me. our new king today. Anyone who doesn't drink's a traitor. And these people are... Timberane soldiery. They're all a bunch of lousy drunks. But they'll be positioned all over town once the ceremony starts. That sounds promising. The townsfolk might not listen to us, but they'll listen to the guards for sure. Hey, hold up! What are you... Soldiers of Timberane! Oh, hey there! Come to sing us a song, have you? Sorry, no. My name is Casti. I'm a traveling apothecary. I've come to warn you of a dire threat facing your kingdom. A dire what's it? Rain. Purple rain will soon fall across your lands. A terrible blight that will kill all it touches. <laughs> Enough with the bad jokes, girly. Today's a day for celebration, not just in poor taste. This isn't a joke. If we don't get everyone to safety at once, 
every last person here will die. I will need all of you to assist me if we are to save the lives of your people. Give me a break, deadly purple rain. Where's your proof? <sighs> uh, what's that black mark on your arm? Dunno, but it grosses me out, it does. I was one of many victims of this poisonous rain. Unlike many, I was lucky to escape with my life. My friends and comrades, however, are all dead now. Every last one of them. They saved my life. I'm only standing here today because of their sacrifice. And now, to prevent that tragedy from ever happening again. To save your city and all of your lives. I beg you all to believe me. Lend me your aid, please. Hey, uh, what do you think? <sighs> I want to believe her, but... How in the hells do we know we can trust her? I can't take it anymore. You're all a bunch of spineless good-for-nothing... Huh? Wait a sec. I know you. Friends, we owe these two a tremendous debt. They saved dozens of our comrades during the skirmishing with Sai. Sai? You mean to tell me she's the apothecary that saved my buddies from the sands? Not only that, it's thanks to this apothecary that we could finally make peace with the outsiders. We are soldiers of Timber Rain, renowned for our honor. We cannot ignore this debt. Let us trust this apothecary who saved us once. Let us give her the chance to save us again. You got it. Put down your mugs, everyone, and let's get to work. We're gonna save this town! Thank you, Commander Griff. Get everyone inside! Close the windows! Bar the doors! Don't let the outside air in! It's working. We'll leave the rest to these brave soldiers. In the meantime, I need to stop the rain at its source. Haste is in order. Hold up, Bone Mender. Where do you think you're going? Get inside, quick! Someone needs to stop Trousseau. You know where he is? I have a good idea. Make sure to get yourself inside once you get these people to safety, Master Edmund. Don't die, Bonemender. Thank you, Master Edmund. I'll try. Now, to find Trousseau. He'll be somewhere high to spread his poison. Somewhere the wind blows strong. The western hills. They fit the bell. And yet... The skies tell another tale. The wind will shift soon. From west to north. Which means the highest point would be... Timberane Castle. That's where you'll be, Trousseau.
The rain. It's starting to change color. Trousseau. I knew I'd find you here. <clears throat> the poison is taking hold already. <clears throat> Has he found a way to make his toxins more potent? Damn you, Trousseau! I'm coming for you. Trousseau. Oh, hello there, Chief. I'm surprised to see that you're still with us. I owe everyone my life. Well, it changes nothing. Are you here to watch as another town is swept away by my delicious rain? I won't let you do this. Yes, yes, I saw you guide the sheep into their hovels. Good work. Round of applause. Close the windows or bar the doors. The air will still get in. As long as my precious smoke still rises, those people's lives are forfeit. <sighs> True so. I still held out hope for you. I thought that somewhere deep inside of you, the gentle man you once were still lived. But I was mistaken. Your heart is as black as the foul pestilence you spread. Oh dear. Are you threatening me? Aren't those hands made to save lives, not end them? I'm taking you down. It's the only way to extend a helping hand to all those down below. If only you had listened to his words that day. Then you would have gladly joined hands with me to bring salvation to this decaying world. Don't worry, Chief. I'll save you, too. You leave with no choice, Trousseau. What to do? Now it begins. I fight for my friends. Shinju Monkey We need a plan. Calculations can be. What to do? What to do? Poison slash. Now it begins. Don't wait for it now, you've been exposed. Why? Why won't you understand? Think of the pain of losing the one you love. The horror of knowing that one day you will die. What worth is there in a life painted with pain and bitter regret? Life may have its painful and bitter moments, but there's always hope. The hope to end pointless conflict. The hope to tell your daughter how much you care. 
It is our mission as apothecaries to ensure that everyone lives long enough for their hopes to become reality. Even if it costs us our own lives. <sighs> Chief, look at you. So filled with futile suffering. Let me extend my hand to you and grant you salvation. Let's on everyone with the sweet purity of death now die 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 <laughs> I still have much to learn. and rain afflicts people with so many disparate ill effects. It seems impossible to create one medicine to cure them all. And yet, I must. I'm the only one who can do it. T. Malaya? How? Remember, Casty. Remember? Remember what? Your journey. 
every road you've walked has led to this moment, to this cure. My journey. Pure balm. To cleanse befouled otters. Scale bark leaf. To gift Rosa the time she needed. Santa Nejo blossom. To save Sally's life. And sky balm. And finally, the snowdrop entrusted to me by you. Casting, I know you can do it. I can. I must. Here goes nothing. Bomb, scale bark leaf, sky bomb, Santanejo blossom. And finally, snowdrop petals. I've never made any medicine like this before. There's no guarantee it will work, or that it's safe. I'll just have to test it on myself. Here I go. Black swellings are gone. All the symptoms are cured. Thank you, Malaya. I did it. Just like you said I could. I found a cure for Trousseau's poison rain. to save a thousand with the other. <laughs> you haven't changed a whit, Chief. Not since I first met you. You... haven't... changed at all. <sighs> but in this vast graveyard of Tegan, The same. True soul. The rain's returning to normal. Casty! Master Edmund! Am I glad to see you? Enough about me. 
The town? We got pretty much everyone to safety in time. There were some stragglers, though. They're all fighting for their lives against that poison. <coughs> Damn. Looks like I inhaled some of that smoke myself. Take this, Master Edmund. Sure. Wait. Don't tell me this is... It is... a cure. Incredible. We'll be able to save everyone with this stuff. Indeed. Now hurry. Every second counts. You got it. Edmund, over here! Our bone mender's back. Everything's gonna be fine. Can you help them, Casty? Of course. I'll get right to work. Easy there. It'll be all right. Should be everyone. I did it, Malaya. Everyone. I saved them. Did I live up to your expectations? I'd say you did, and then some. You saved a lot of people's lives. Thank you, Chief. I'm sure the others feel the same. Casty, I'm so very tired. I'd like to rest, Chief. Lend me a helping hand? Good night, Malaya. Good night, all of you. Morning, Bone Mender. While you were snoozing, we had ourselves a coronation. I must have been out for a long time. The townsfolk?
See for yourself. Excuse me, are you the apothecary everyone's talking about? Ah, I'm a scrivener. I write stories for a gazette, the Delsta Times. I hear you saved the lives of all the good people of Timbering. Do you have any message to share with the world? Uh, you say I saved them? No, it wasn't just me. We saved them. Heirs Apothecary.